Good morning, everybody. You're on Blank Talk Live with Bill Batson and... Eden Batson. Nice. We're here today to talk about some heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. Yep, we're going to go, we're going to talk about um, some of our trolling rods. Different applications, different blanks that are used, why they're designed a certain way. We're going to talk about some solid glass. We're going to talk about some special stuff. We're going to give away some secrets. Give away, oh, we're doing secrets? That's a little bit of secrets, you know, because oh, um, we don't... 98% of our business is the fishing industry, but there's that 2%. Yeah. That 2% of other things that we do. So yeah. I'm going to share a little bit of the other things. You know, we're, yes, we're giving away some secrets, and I'm sure somebody will go, ooh, I never thought about that, and blah, 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 and whatever. They want to go chase that business, they can. Yeah. You know, but um, anyways... We're going to talk about that today. I'm excited. Do we have any housekeeping that we want to talk about? That's on you. What do, what do you got for housekeeping? You got anything you want to talk about? No, besides we have the PCS show still. Yep. Um, yep. We're going to be posting some stuff about that. It's going to be in California, Orange County. Yep. Um, What's the dates? Uh, February 18th to the 21st. 20th. 20th. Three-day show. Three-day show. See, I was so close. You were close. You were better than me. Last week, I said it was like in January or something. Yeah, and you were having a rough time. I was time. like a month off. Or, and then I said, you know, March. And then, yeah, yeah and we go back and forth. Anyways, yes. Uh, February 18th, 19th, and 20th at Orange County Fairgrounds. Yes, we will be there. We are inviting everyone to come hang out with us. We're going to have some legendary builders at the booth with us. And we're just going to have a party. It's going to be really fun. <laughs> it's going to be a party. Yeah, yeah, we got a 20 by 40, so we got a lot of room. I'm going to have a couple stations set up so people can come and ask questions and hang out. We're going to call it the California Rod Builders Gathering. I love it. We've got a bunch of special blanks. I didn't even know we were calling it the California Rod Builders Gathering. Yeah, yeah I we like are. I like that idea. Uh, me too. <laughs> There's going to be uh, Darren Doey from 310 is going to put on a rod building competition for the first 25 guys. And I think the theme is bluefin tuna. That's exciting. Yeah. So anybody can build on anything they want. Doesn't matter. Do your specialty. For bluefin fishing. I don't care if it's schooly bluefins or if it's the giant bluefins. Yeah. So it's going to be it's gonna be quite the show. That sounds really fun. Thank you for bringing that up. We've been putting a lot of energy into that. We're yeah. just getting this thing rolling and getting people to sign up and getting a bunch of rods built for giveaways. Yeah. Doc Ski, Jim Trelecki's, um, Eddie, Eddie Leibel, yeah. a bunch of different people. Pat yeah. Mayer, a bunch of people are going to build rods for us to give away at the show. So. That's Somebody could win a custom rod, like we do at the Fred Hall Show. Ooh. But we're not doing Fred Hall this year. We're doing the PCS. Awesome. So, well, if you guys are watching and you have any questions about the PCS show or if you want to show up, just send an email to Batson at BatsonEnterprises.com. We will get you hooked up. Yep, most definitely. Um, anything else you want to talk about? I don't think I do. I cool. think that we're all set. Then we're going to get right into it then. Ooh. Oh, we are doing giveaways today. Oh, yeah. I have this lovely rack of shirts on the right side of me. This is what we call our non-stock giveaway rack. So we keep this in house so that we can give away shirts whenever someone comes and visits us. And if you guys throughout the show want to comment your size, um, we'll do random giveaways where I'll just grab a t-shirt in your size and you get that t-shirt. Excellent. Yeah. Thank so you. Keep watching, watch and comment your size. That's pretty cool. Something. That's pretty cool. How are you going to be able to win? You got to comment in the uh, little comment section below. Just be like, hey, I'm a extra large and I'll be like cool and I'll grab an extra large and then that's your extra So you're going to tell them when to do it not everybody's going to do it right now. No. Okay good. Yeah, he Excellent. I need to turn up my mic. Is it off? Am I not talking loud enough? Oh that's... maybe it's way down here that's why. Get it closer to your face. Hey Chance. Can you grab me one of those epic butts with the gimbals? Yes. Thank you. Is this better? Who was who was it that said they couldn't hear? Levi Baker. Oh okay. Cool. Levi Baker yeah. can you hear me better now? What is he okay. I'm not the one saying all the important information. Yeah, they still <laughs> want to hear you because you're funny. I am. You are class funny. Class clown over here. Well, I don't know about class clown. Hey, whoa. Team. I was runner up. <laughs> Team clown. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into this. I was runner up for class clown, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I kind of I can't see that. All right, let's talk about some stuff real quick. Not real quick, but let's talk about some stuff. We're going to start with solid glass. People don't understand when I say solid glass. This is not tubular glass. This is ground Glass, blanks, and Ooh. this is what they look like. They are a solid ground taper glass blanks. And in these glass blanks, we have three that I consider heavy hitters. All right? I mean, these are Ooh. solid. Wait, let me get my. Throw them on the ground, step on them, solid 
boat rides were called. I got my mic out. I wanted them to hear that. That's insane. Thanks, Chance. Of course. Can I get? Oh, you got to get more with it. Okay. So this is solid glass. This particular one is a 695. This is pretty much the tapers. So it's a 695 tapers to a quarter inch, to a quarter inch tip, and it's 65 inches long. 65 inches long is what is it? Five foot three. There we go. Are you doing math over there? Five foot five. Five foot five. That was close. Five foot five. Two inches. As long. you can see, and the longest, the longest one we have is a six foot. Uh, well. Oh, so, that's, that's well, this is longer than six, 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 and this is unmarked. But anyways, we're gonna go with these heavy hitters. I'm gonna put this one back. Woo. I'm gonna show you the actions of them. So Great. people do a lot of different things with these rods. These are what we call our indestructible rods. A lot of people will buy these blanks and build boat rods out of them. You're not gonna want that there. Thank you. Um, boat rods. These are your party boat rods. Um, put um, hard chrome guides on them. Put a real seat. Some inexpensive EVA. And this would be a boat rod or a heavy duty rod. But a lot of people do a lot of different things with them. I know guys in Hawaii that will cut off, you know, six inches off of here and four inches off of here and make it like a stubby blank, which we'll talk about that in a little bit. So these are our solid glass blanks. Yeah. Well, there's a lot you can do with solid glass. These are our heavy blanks, but we do all the way down to a small ice rod. Woo, ice rod blanks. A little bit of a difference between Big them. Big difference, right? Gotta flex them side by side. And these are all just tapered on a machine. So you run it through a grinding machine, so it comes mm -hmm. out one diameter. This one's not that big, I'm sure it's a smaller. And then you grind to the taper you want. This one has a pretty, uh, Abrupt, Aggr yeah. aggressive taper here right as you can see this is an ice rod blank what over my shirt so you can see it not in some of my face <laughs> okay and this is a very aggressive taper and this is an ice rod but this is also solid glass so i just wanted to let people know what you can do with solid glass a lot of different things you can do with solid glass i'm going to share a little secret here this is another product line we do and this is just a solid glass tapered and this is actually a conductor's baton right <laughs> this is a conductor's baton that we do as a, a project for somebody and we sell him a little rod case that goes with it and he goes around and sells them conductor batons but anyways solid glass so talking about solid glass that's things we can do oh another thing we do solid glass walking canes also a heck of a weapon <laughs> don't know? get that too close to my face yeah but, you know, you can trim it up with the Batson AWCCO trim ring with a special molded cap for it. Yeah. And this is your walking cane, waiting stick or whatever you want. Waiting stick maybe a little bit longer, but this is more of a walking cane. Yeah. Kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's got the little... It's got a little nub nubbin on the end. Nubbin on the end? Yeah, a little <laughs> nubbin on the, the end. technical term. Yeah, nubbin is a technical term. <laughs> All right. So, solid glass. A lot of things you can do with solid glass. Cut and paste. Um, make anything you want with it great beater rod so i'm yeah. going to put it on the machine so you can see you taped have, up i'm taped up you can see it has a more of a moderate actions i'm ready you want to reset that yeah zero it out i got it all right and this one is probably a 3050 but you're going to see the let me put my not safety up. goggles yeah i know i i have my glasses on today i feel like i don't need safety goggles you, know, you can't see without your glasses today does that work? Let's go do this. Okay, Eden, you want to hook me up there? Okay, wait, I can't see. <laughs> Are we reset? And you can see the action. This is a solid glass blank. And this is a 3050. And you can see how it's more parabolic. See how it bends all the way back into my hand? Ooh! And we're going to go ahead and lift <laughs> this. And you can see, oh, it bends all the way through my hand. Pull on something like that. Yeah. It bends all the way through my hand. You didn't break anything. Heavy um, hitters. Heavy hitters. That's a 30 pound. So this is a 3050. Sorry, everybody. I'm making noise. <laughs> That's what you do best. Is my mic still on? I know my mic turns off sometimes. It did. See? When good. I, good for you. You when checked. I pull on things. For some reason, my mic. 
It's better than other things coming loose, like a rib. Put it on my other hip, maybe? That'd probably be a good idea. Solid glass. So you can do a lot with solid glass. Cut it like I showed you last week. Same thing. Cut it with a um, chop saw. Or you can cut it with a Dremel. Whatever. But it's solid glass. You. These are very inexpensive blanks. Probably $20 for a solid glass blank. So... Solid glass. So what, Anybody have any questions about solid glass? It's pretty cut and dry. How many people we got on? 37. 30, 37, 38. Okay, good. Well, what would your application for that be? For me? Yeah. An indestructible boat rod. Um, if I didn't have access to other blanks, I could cut and paste this to make almost anything I want. You could put it in an aluminum butt. I know people put them in aluminum butts via a number four. They would cut it back yeah. and make stubbies out of them trolling rods Hawaiian style you can like I said you can put this Reggie, Reggie no way Reggie he's out in the sandbox somewhere we we're just talking he's got some stuff coming to him him and the boys out there building rods while they're working for our freedom good seeing you Reggie I'm not seeing you I'm glad you're on I'm glad you're seeing me how's that <laughs> good to be seen Good to be seen. It's good to I be like seen. that. It's good to be seen. Anyways, so my applications are anything. Anything. Um, yes. We did have a question. Okay. Easier to break. No, they are not. Oh, he was asking me if they're easier to break. No, they are not easier to break. These things are very hard to break because they're because of their parabolic actions. A lot of them have a par parabolic actions, and there's really nothing. I have never seen one. I'd be I'd be afraid. To be around one if it blew up. Um, I've never heard of one break. I've been doing this for decades. You know, I got 25 years of blank selling and manufacturing experience, and I've never seen one or heard of one break. In this, in this, they do break them sometimes. In this, just because the diameters are thin, are thin, and these can break, but you can see what you can do with it. I mean, how far is your panfish gonna, or your trout, or your? I seen guys catch muskies and stuff with this. Because, you know, anyways. Harder to break. No. Somebody asked if they're easier to break. They are not easier to break. They are harder to break. Cool. Thank you for the questions. I appreciate the questions. We're here to educate or show people different things. So there is my solid glass. That? Heavy duty. I like this ice rod. I just want to hold it. For some reason, it makes me feel kind of powerful. <laughs> like I have stuff that I need to point to. All right. Cool, Eden. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna go to stubbies. Woo. We call these stubbies, obviously, hence the name. They're short. They are 42 and a half inches long. And these are what I call heavy hitters harvest rods. So um, I call them harvest rods because I grew up in Hawaii and they would take the, let's say the 80, and they would put it in a number four ferrule and they would put a tip top and three guides on this and they would troll and when you get bit you don't even slow the boat down you've probably got an 80 white on here and you just crank it in and you're harvesting interesting yeah so i call them it's more of a harvest rod but these are heavy hitters i mean oh yeah that like, thing doesn't even bend no go ahead and grab that tip you can see right <laughs> so it really doesn't and that's my that's my 80 and here's my 50. Your 50 that goes into number two butt. Hey! Woo! Ding, 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 I ding! I <laughs> Good job, Eden. <laughs> you get a gold star! <laughs> Eden, Eden's picking this stuff up pretty quick, folks, so she knows that this goes into a number two butt. Which is right there? Yep. Oh, my gold star! Hey, Eden's got a gold star. Good for you, Eden. Thanks. I want to put You it are learning very quickly. Here's my gold star. So I want to point out a couple things. Eden put her gold star up there. It's not working. No? We'll put it there. Okay, that's good. We should probably date it and sign it for you getting <laughs> the gold star. <laughs> All right. So anyways, the stubbies, 42-inch um, long, basic harvest sticks. It is a tubular glass blank. But thing about these is they are designed to fit certain. So this is your 50. So if I was going to be fishing this rod, you could put a, this is a number two butt. It could be a straight, could be a curved, could be a straight curved. It could be a. A short curve it could be a lot of different things. It could be a Winthrop number two. Um, 
You could probably fit it in here. Oh, it's kind of cool. Experiments. We're experimenting, and it fits. So you could have a nice, cool-looking butt. And this is that Winthrop um, Epic. Has a gimbal on it and everything. But that's the Epic butt, and it's actually a blank through all the way through. Oh. So you could have something like Extra that. Extra stubby. So a lot of different things. Extra stubby. <laughs> yeah. But most of the times you're going to put it in a regular number two with the 50 class reel. So this is a, we call this the stub 50. A 50 wide would fit on a number two. A 80 wide would fit on a number four. And a 130 would fit on a number, number six. six. Yeah. Yeah. Another, you got another gold star. I don't know. It's getting too easy now. It's just I too easy. I remembered stuff. I'm glad that you've been studying or asking questions. One of the two. Both. Both studying and asking questions. Yes. So these are designed. So the ferro, we, we build up the material. This one is actually designed. This one's pretty straight. But if you look at the heavier ones, this is a one thirty. This is a one thirty, which fits into our number six. Woo. Ooh, that's a beast, <laughs> right? But this is still a 130 stubby. Very popular in Hawaii and places where they're just, they're harvesting. Yeah. I mean, they're trolling. You have to catch your fish via trolling. They're not netting. They're not hand lining. They're pretty much trolling for their fish that go to market in Hawaii. So the 130, I mean, you could do anything with this. Catch marlin. I mean, 1,000 pound fish, no problem. Um, and this is my stub 130. And this is also a tubular glass e-glass blank we talked about e-glass last week this is our tubular e-glass so that's pretty cool and then we're gonna with stub 80 would fit into a number four this is a number four winthrop Ooh. you sure this is a number four winthrop there yep. we go this will this will actually slide down and cut these grooves pretty pretty deep it'll it'll fit though you can grind that down or you grind this down but it always fit them, an Alps butt for yeah. sure. But uh, went through it very close. Yeah. I know that our ferrules switch up. So if I have a number four, four butt and I wanted to switch it up to a Winthrop number four, yeah. the ferrules match up. Nice. I'll let people know that the twos, the fours, and the sixes all match up. If you have Alps butts and you wanted to move to a Winthrop, or if you went from a Winthrop and you wanted to go to an Alps, we're probably not going to do that. But they they do match up. So kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So stubby. Stubby. Very 40, stubby. 42 and a half inches long. You can see. Oh! Basically harvest sticks, I call them, our harvest sticks. You can see right through them. Yeah. They're definitely tubular, right? Whoop, whoop. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Thick walls. Very thick. Very thick walls. So that's that's good. Yeah. You want to talk about something before? Well, we, Continue yeah. to move on. <laughs> yeah, let's do a giveaway. Sure. Yeah, do a giveaway. Give me um, a shirt size in the comments, and I'll have James. First three random. people. First three people. Give, give me a size. Do, 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 do. What's that one? Do, wait, wait. What is no, it? I don't know. Do, 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 <laughs> there you go. Do, 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 Jeopardy, right? Do, do, do. All right, first one, James. All right, okay. sizes. Start Eric at the top. Larson. Extra large. Extra large. Grab them an extra large. And we're just going to randomly pick these. Eden's not going to look extra large. Oh. oh, this is a cool one. This one we haven't seen around in a while. This is a performance tee. It's an extra large. It's a, like a t-shirt. It's not like a... No, it's not a... No. Yep. So, who is this one for? Eric Larson. Eric Larson, you want a new Team Rain Shadow long sleeve t-shirt. Beautiful. And second one. Michael, Michael Ward. Ward. Hey, Michael. <laughs> and that'll be a 3X. A 3X. Beautiful. Do, 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 Here we go. Oh. Red Friday shirt. Wait, that's a 5X. I had a 3X in my hand. There we go. Red Friday shirt. Red Friday shirt, she says, and a 3X. This is our Remember Everyone Deployed. We still have to remember that. Um, we have all, a lot of servicemen out there. Actually, Reggie's out there right now. He's on watching us, and they're out there deployed. Remember everybody deployed. You know, we're the greatest country in the world for a reason. So this is our Red Friday shirt, and this one was for? 
Michael Ward. Michael Ward. Excellent. Who is in England, funny enough? <laughs> Michael Ward's in England? No. No? Chris, that's Chris that's Ward. Chris Ward. Good, good try, though, Eden. Oh. Get, yep, take him back and get gold star. Gold star. I'm that's bad it. with first names. I'm good with last <laughs> that's names. That's it. You can take, take him back and gold star. <laughs> All right, who was the last one? Sam Turkington. Sam Turkington. What size? 2X. I tried, guys. Sam Turkington. Oh, this is one of my, one of my favorites. This is the build to fish with the, with the flag. It's one of our, old, our taglines is build to fish because you have to build a rod to go fishing. So well, you don't have to, but you should. Well, if you don't, somebody's going to have to build it, right? <laughs> it's got to be built. And I like built to fish too, but mm -hmm. this is a, uh, and it has the cool Team Rain Shadow logo on the front. Woo! And that goes to? Sam Turkington. Sam, Sam Turkington. Turkington. All right, thank you everybody for playing our little game. I Eden. lost a gold star. <laughs> but you did lose a gold star, Eden. I mean, they come, easy come, easy go. Or actually not easy come, <laughs> you know, but easy go. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I apologize it is Friday. to Chris and Michael Ward. I'm That's bad right. with names. That's all right. That's right. All right, so let's let's move on. Um, so we talked about the stubbies, harvest sticks. A lot of people are using them. Um, it's just another technique that people are used. I've I've been selling stubbies and solid glass and and uh, rain shadow RTs for a long time. They are popular. A lot of people don't know about them, so thought I would share that. And what I like about them is easy assembly for the butts that they're made for and put a tip top on, wrap three guides on it, throw a lure out there and you're good to go. And they're trolling around stuff like this. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. This is a black Bart, um, the blue breakfast. Ooh. This is a uh, very- Is that blue? Yeah, it is blue on the inside, see? Is that blue or is it purple? I don't know. They call it blue. But this is one of my- <laughs> This is one of my favorites for catching big marlin, big tuna, uh, Hawaiian style, off of Hilo or Kona side, or even out of Maui where I grew up. But this is a black bart, the blue breakfast. The blue but breakfast. what they're doing is they're pulling these, and these rods don't bend, right? So this this lure will pop off the surface, and it has holes on the side, and it splashes, and you put a spread out, and different lures but i thought i'd show this one this is what they the blue breakfast and you can see how big it is yeah i mean this thing is um almost two feet two feet long with a big hook in there and yeah that's what you're catching you're catching something yep yep and on these types of rods they're putting roller guides heavy duty roller guides you know you can see boom 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 there'd be three of those along with the top Remind people that we do carry rollers in different colors, Ooh. purple and red, also very popular. Um, so if you wanted to put a purple in there, stylize, stylize it. it, right? Or the red, whoop, 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 right? And those are pretty much your three sizes that I would use. And if you really want to get crazy, you could just go black, purple, and red I all on the same great. rod, right? I think we should try that. <laughs> Anyways, pretty cool. All right. Enough of that. Enough of that? You Enough done with that? that? I'm, I'm over that. So, stubbies. All right, the last one we're going to do on our heavy hitters is... Dun, 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 dun. Rain shadow trolling. Heavy duty. Heavy duty. These are all our heavy duty rods. We're still in rain shadow trolling. This is a 30, an 80, and a 130. These are longer rods. People want a little more length. These are your longer rods. I have a five foot three and two five foot six. So when I put this five foot six in a number four, and if this was a number, number six, and actually there's one longer with the curve, so now you're looking, look at that. You're talking seven feet, over seven feet long. Yeah. Right? This is like the Wicked Tuna style, what they're doing here. Yeah. Where they want a little more length. This one actually does bend a little bit. Well, well you should put it on the... Uh, hold this. We'll see if we can bend this. This one actually does bend a little bit. <laughs> right? So you can see, I can lift Eden up with this. This is what we call our 130. <laughs> but it has to have some bend. Um, 
just because so you don't pull hooks and everything. The other one's the shorter ones. Usually if you're gonna hook a fish with something like this, he's got the hook good, um, pretty deep. And those big fish have hard bones, cartilage in their face. Yeah. So that would be a 130. So but basically you're taking this butt and a curved one, whether it be a, a Winthrop or whether it be an Alps, one of the two. Yeah. <clears throat> We have that new 10X. Hey, grab me that new 10X. This is why we're in the warehouse. Yep, so I can grab things and show people. You can yell um, at other people to grab things. Or ask. <laughs> we don't yell at people. We ask people for I'm things. Joking. I know you're joking. Anyways, so there, and these are all designed the same way. I want to let people know. These are all designed the same way where they fit uh, 66 130 would fit your number six. Your 6680 would fit a number four. Boom. Would fit your number four. And your, thank you. And your 6350, which is your number two, would fit in your number two. You know, there is a little bit, you wanna arbor it up, make sure you get enough glue in there, but they're very close to fitting the ferrules when i say a ferrule so people understand this is your ferrule this way you can your reel would be attached to this you can pull your reel off put it on the side you don't always have to take your reel off your butt and this you can put this so you can store it in your boat so that's one of the reasons they have yes james chris ward would like you to bend the 30 trolling rod sure no problem chris, chris ward is here yep chris ward wants us to bend the 30, and I will bend the 30. I do have some tape on the front of it, so let's go ahead and take care of that. He wants me to bend this. This is the RT6350. This is a 50 pound class rod. It would fit into a number two butt, whether it be a two curved or a two straight or a two short curved or a two short. Four different twos. So we're gonna go ahead and put my safety glasses on. <laughs> and this is my 50 pound class. And this is the regulation trolling. This is an all glass rod, five foot three. And go ahead and change that out and see if we can. Um, you gotta help me out here because I can't see very well without I, my glasses. I know. So typically, this would be in a, an aluminum butt, so I would get more fulcrum on it. I mean, more length back so I could pull farther, harder on it. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And it is, it is, it bends pretty good, but it does shut off about here and in the aluminum butt. So in the aluminum butt, I'd be pulling from back here, but I'm gonna pull from here, and you can see what the. 6350 looks like. Don't pull something. Woo! Oh. Solid. 41 pounds on a 6350. So this is a 50 pound class rod. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to hold that, but if I needed to turn that fish or something, I could do it with this rod. Yeah. This is a very popular rod for a lot of different applications. Even if you wanted to put it into a number four butt. You could, all you have to do is arbor it up, right? And you'll get that length with the, th a lot of people are using these for trolling for tuna, um, yeah, pretty much tuna, yeah. you know? They can use it for a sword rod because it does have a nice bend to it. So that is the 6350. And if you wanted to, you could put it in this. This is pretty cool. I like these, I haven't shown these a lot, but this is a Winthrop Epic button and it gets a gimbal and it's a blank it's a blank through design and you can move it up you can move it down obviously if you're going to do something like this you want to at least add you want to put this in at least six to eight inches yeah and then ferrule it up because of the fulcrum points yeah on this right? right this one but uh yeah so that's pretty cool i like these i put i, I like these a lot of people are using these now it's a, a fluted design um with the gimbal, they're really cool. And yeah. if you didn't want the gimbal and you wanted to put a rubber butt cap or something, you could not use the gimbal. Um, yes, that number six, or is this a number four? It looks like a number four. So this is the new Winthrop. New Winthrop butt. Yes, I remember how to do it. <laughs> Where you, it's a pin system. And you pin it to the to the angle you want it at, right? This is a, yeah. Yeah. So this is a P 
pin design. It could be this, it could be this, it could move, move anywhere. And as soon as you lock it in, it's locked. It's locked. It's not going to pop out. So you can make any angle you want. And this is like an extra brace for really big. This is for the thousand pound blue fin. Yeah. You know, or it, it looks cool. <laughs> or it looks cool. It, it does Which look cool. Which is very important. Looking cool is very important. It is. You, you know, know, it helps catch I fish. Know. <laughs> yeah, it does. You know, and, it, and this one is a little different. This is a solid design. Mm -hmm. Little flutes here, kind of like the, the flutes. Yeah. Kind of like the flutes of the epic butt. Um, these are very popular. If I am a boat owner and I own a boat that I'm out fishing tune on, yeah, it'll be a butt like this. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You for know. Sure. Um, American-made product, Winthrop. We are an authorized wholesale deliver uh, distributor for them. Great product line. We've partnered with them for about six or eight months now. Um, and we have inventory. Woohoo! We have a question over here. Yep, question. Do you have blueprints for these rods? Do we have blueprints for these rods? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Most definitely with the uh, matching butts. And you can go the four straights, four curved, or if you wanted to change it out to Winthrop, it's an easy switch. The number fours and the number sixes yeah. and the number twos. All interchange. And go to Batson Enterprises. Dot com. Go look for guide spacing, and that's where you go. Yeah, you can also find it on Facebook. We have a guide spacing Facebook group with over 3,000 rod builders. A part of that group, it's going to be pinned to the top of that page, so you have a Dropbox link that you just click directly on, find the rod model number, and then you can find the build sheets for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Pretty neat. Yeah, so that's our heavy hitters. I mean, I know guys, I know the big bluefin tuna thing is, is really blowing up. In the last three years, we've sold a lot more big, fin, big blue fin tuna blanks and all the components that go with it, from the roller guides to the swivel roller tops to all the blanks. We do special blanks for people out there. Some of the most popular blanks built rods in the industry are built on private label rain shadows. So a lot of different things going on. You can cut and paste East Coast, West Coast, a little different, boom, boom, boom. But as the West Coast start, fish are starting to get bigger, Team Rain Shadow, two, 362 pounder yeah. last week. Yeah. That's a big fish. And they continue to get bigger. I can see these techniques and these the way that they do it on the East Coast getting crossed over to the West Coast in regards on how they're going to catch these big bluefin. Mm -hmm. You're not going to rail ride. You're not going to stand up and catch a 500. Well, you could, but it's going to be hurt. It's going to hurt. Yeah. I caught a 248 pounder and that fish tried to kill me. <laughs> You know, and I'm not a small guy, and that yeah. fish was oh yeah, big fish. Pulled Tra you around the boat a couple times. Eleven times around the boat. Anyways, um, they're going to have to incorporate some of this style and some of these blanks into catching those fish. For sure. I know right now they're taking some of the um, RCTBs and they're cutting them back here and cutting and pasting and putting them in these aluminum butts and fighting them in the rail, even in California now. Yeah. Because a lot of people who go on a charter boat, they want to catch a big bluefin tuna, but they can't stand up and catch a fish. No. So they leave it in the rod holder and they sit on this thing, on the gunnel, and they crank in, crank yeah. in those fish, right? Yeah. And most of those are, are um, six-pack boats, smaller boats, where they can actually chase those fish down. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Chase those fish down. I was on a private boat. We would have chased mine down, except we had two on at the same time, and <laughs> one went one way, and the other one decided to do circles, and it was. It was. So uh, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't the ideal <laughs> situation, but great captain Jake and Jake on the prime time team rain shot a boat out of San Diego. Always puts me on fish when I go down there. Jake and Jake. Jake and Jake can't beat those Ooh, guys. I see Holly waving some stuff over. Holly, there. what do you got? Want to give some stuff away? We're going to wait what? I can't hear on Holly's You can talk mumbling. louder. Just, just make, it. Just make, make it, it up. Oh, I get to make stuff up now. Okay, oh. Eden's giving away stickers. So comment sticker. Just put oh, comment, comment sticker. Sticker, sticker first, uh, everybody, Five. two. Two? Two what? per person. You two can't just person. have one. You got to have two. Two per person for the first time. Five people. For the first five people. Get stickers. Get stickers. Okay. And if you're not someone who wins some stickers, that is totally okay because we have them available on buildafish.com. Bernie? Bernie? 
Bernie who? Bill Burr. Okay. Is he fishing? Yep. Okay. Whoa, Bernie. <laughs> Bernie, Tony G. And Andrew Furman. Andrew Furman and? Kyle Jones. Kyle, Kyle Johns. Johns. Perfect. Wait, could One, Kyle two. just get a bunch of stickers? It, it doesn't matter if he did or not. Who was the second person you mentioned? Andrew. Joe Hutchison. Oh, Joe Hutchison. No. Nope. One of Furman? the guys just went fishing, caught a really nice tuna on a new tuna blank. No comment. Tony I'm G? Watching. Tony G? Yeah. Yeah. Tony G yes. Yeah. I believe he took his new rain shadow out and got a nice 150 pound uh, blue fin. Yeah. I think that was him. I could be wrong. A lot of, a lot of things going on nowadays. I got some, I'll take away one of your gold stars. Wait, you didn't get any gold stars today. I don't need any gold stars. I am a gold star. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, this is how you claim your prize. If you want a shirt or stickers today, you're going to send a message to the Bathroom Enterprise Facebook page. You're going to give me your name and your address so I can ship that out to you. If you enter a Bathroom giveaway and someone asks for your credit card, that is not us. Yeah, we don't we, do that. We don't ask for money. We don't we want don't any money from money. you guys unless you're a customer. <laughs> <laughs> so I, all you need to do is message our Facebook page. You're on it right now. Just click our name. Send me your name, your address. I will thank you for watching and ship it out to you. Excellent, thank you. I want to show another cool product. Okay. So we do a lot of different things like I was telling you earlier. This is a pretty cool one. So this is a brewery in Oregon, Tight Lines Brewery. It's a fishing themed brewery. He actually took our Alps Real Seats and made taps yes. out of them. Those are cool. That's pretty cool. And he used cork and goes right into the whatever. And this is his he uses these on all of his <laughs> uh, taps. That's oh. super cool. That is kind of cool. And he sent me one. He goes, Bill, I, I'm going to be using these real seats, and this is what I'm going to do. We, and I we said, should go to that bar. We should. Brookings, Oregon, Tight Lines Brewery. Let's go. I'm not sure if they're still in business, but I hope they are. <laughs> this was a while back. So. Chris Ward asks. Chris Ward asks. Chris Ward asks. Smart shirts. Chris, Chris Ward asks, what's the news on the smart shirts? Chris Ward is asking, what's the news on the smart shirts? I, all our shirts are smart. Yeah, Eden, come on, that's not good enough. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Chris. <laughs> smart shirt. Smart? Okay. If you could elaborate on that or send me an maybe email. Maybe it was spelled wrong. Smart? S small? No, it wouldn't be small. I thought maybe it was about your shirt you had on. Oh, no. This is just a show shirt. This is kind of a cool shirt, though. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty neat one. I feel like if we... Okay, if we had button-ups... Oh, oh, a smart shirt. Um, these were made for our pro, our pro staff and our in-house staff for, for trade shows. This is more my style. Uh, we have wore the other sport tech shirts at shows. Yeah. Not a big fan of that. I think we should be in college shirts like this but you look smart um <laughs> it's working it, it helps <laughs> the glasses and everything i don't know where you would be without it um but if we sold aloha shirts like in the style that my dad wears all the time would you guys be interested comment down below let us know the more um feedback that you guys give us the cooler stuff we put out that way we can put out stuff that you guys want to buy hey chris ward send me an email and i'll have you one made I'll have one of these smart, smart shirts made for you because I know you have one of the old denim shirts from, man, 15 years ago. My dad used to have these denim smart shirts that said uh, Pro Staff, you know, Rain Shadow Pro Staff on them. I think it said back in the day it was Rain Shadow Pro Staff. I still have them. I know Chris Ward probably still has his and I think he even put his logo on the other side if I'm not mistaken. But I would be more than happy to have a new shirt made for you, Chris, especially if you come to the PCS show in February. Woo! Hope to see you there. Yeah, you never know. And if not, I'll still have one made, one, one made for you because you have been a supporter of ours from the beginning. You know, we've been doing this a long time, and we like to uh, support those who support us. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Cool beans. Anyways, I think that's our show for this week. Um, I mean, I wanted to show some special stuff, but, you know, my, I got kiboshed, and they want to make that a whole separate show. We're going to do some special, special some secret, se secret special components. 
Secret components. <laughs> Shh. Secret components. Secret components. <laughs> I'm always doing different things and trying different colors and some colors are popular and I'll bring them out and we'll do different things and blah, blah, blah. And I'm doing some special, special stuff for customers and there's overruns and stuff like that. So we have a couple secret components for you guys. Maybe yeah, we next do. week. Yeah, we'll do something soon. Anyways, I just want to say thanks again for all of your support. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informational. If you have any questions, you can email us. You can email me, bill at batsonenterprises.com, and I will get to your email as soon as I can. Um, if not, Batson, Batson Enterprises, somebody will take care of your questions or concerns or whatever it might be. But I just want to say thank you. From my family to all of you, aloha and fish on. Fish on. <laughs>